A very warm greetings to everyone. This is Suhasni S, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering from RMD Engineering College. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the topic cursors in SQL. So, why this cursor has been created is it is a temporary working area. You are going to have a memory, a temporary memory where you are going to execute some set of SQL statements. Okay. So, the same set of process, but it will create some separate space and you will be working on in that place instead of working in the main memory. Okay. So, to process and to work it, okay, to uh, take some uh, uh, content from your original place and to, to put it in the temporary working space, you need a statement called select statement. So, to select a particular, um, I mean, particular data from your original database or from the original memory, I mean, the main memory, and it will put it in the temporary working area. So, here there are two types of cursor as well implicit cursor and explicit cursor. So, next is See here, this is the representation. I told no, this is the original table. From this original table, I have to select some set of tape, uh, rows and columns to uh, to work for to work on it. So I am taking it from the instead of describing the in, uh, disturbing the entire table, I am selecting some particular uh, data where I want to make some changes or where I want to make some operations or process, and I am putting in a place called context area, which is your temporary space. So retrieving the data from the table. Now, for this, I will be passing, I will be writing some piece of code, like declare is a keyword, cursor. You have to create a cursor. That is a temporary area. So, cursor is a keyword. Cursor, m underscore cursor is your uh, cursor name. Now, uh, you have to uh, mention what are the road type that everything you want to mention, you can give. And you have to begin. That is, you have to open the cursor first. You have to open the temporary area. Then you have to fetch the data, whatever the data access there is present there, you have to fetch that data from the uh, cursor. So for that, the request is sent with the help of fetch. Then you have to perform some operation that is into MP. So then you have to, you make some changes also. So then later on, you can close the cursor and end. So this is how your cursor works. So, implicit cursor is that uh, it means that it uh, automatically creates some implicit cursor when the SQL statement is executed. There is no explicit cursor for the statement. That is, you will you will be having what are the data's needs to be inserted. It does not have any value parts there. It will have some uh, statements and it will have some uh, uh, the syntax only. You will be defining everything in the implicit cursor and in the explicit cursor only you will pass the exact value. Okay. So, see here, declare customer ID A and number. So, now begin select ID, uh, select customer ID, select into customer ID A from. So, we are just passing the terms what should be done and where should be done. So these are the attributes like the for uh, I mean the found is open not found these are the commands okay <clears throat> now explicit cursor where you are going to program uh to program to access to your temporary area okay so whether you want to select you want to return multiple rows all these things I told this part right so declare keyword name address cursor creation and the cursor name is get customer and what value should be passed here and what should be selected uh, if I tell no from this this particular row you select so that value I'll pass so when that row is getting selected what kind of details what kind of attributes you want to select from that attribute and from which table and uh, the, the, what condition you have to map it okay so those things you have you you have written here this is implicit cursor what is explicit cursor is so now the exact program starts what you are going to open get customer 10 so it will change it will search for the customer id 10 in that temporary area then once it is get uh, uh, once a row is identified it will go and check it will select name and address column uh, column from the customer table and it will check whether the customer ID and the cust ID is same. If so, it will return. If it is not going to fetch anything, it will, it has to give some error not found. Then you, you, you will end the loop and you will close the cursor and you will end. Okay, so this is how your implicit and explicit cursor works and cursor is a 
temporary area where you are selecting some particular amount of data from the original table and you are accessing that particular uh, temporary area for all the updation and operations. Okay, so this is about the SSN SQL. Thank you.